Hi guys, I've been collecting DVDs for a while and so I thought it would be quite fun to film my DVD collection. So I've made this video today, I really hope you enjoy it and here it is. Starting off my collection of DVDs, we have my Lauren Hardy Complete Collection box set and then we have some more of their episodes they did when they were a bit older and then we have the DVDs of bands I like, uh, tour DVDs and stuff like that. Take that, Bobby Williams, JLS and G4. Then moving on to the shelf underneath, we go on to my Jack Wilde collection of DVDs. Jack Wilde is most famous for the musical Oliver, uh, but I've got all the movies I could find which he's in including some of his later films, which he's not in so much. I particularly enjoy watching him in the American children's series H.R. Puffin Stuff. Now moving on to my collection of Steve Buscemi films, another actor I really like. He acts in an awful lot of films and I don't have all of his DVDs. I have quite a few though. A lot of these aren't the best of films. Some of his more famous ones are Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, which is also by Quentin Tarantino, Armageddon, Fargo. There are a few DVDs that he stars in which I really enjoy watching, such as Airheads, Ed and His Dead Mother, Billy Madison, and The Imposters as well. I really enjoyed this film. I thought it was very funny. Now just continuing down the row of Steve Buscemi films I own, I've got other films such as Ghost World, Mr Deeds. Steve also voices in a few films such as Monster How, Charlotte's Web and Eagle. And finally we come to a few of Steve's more later films such as Grown Ups and Hotel Transylvania. Then we have a few films I bought because of actors in them I like. Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Against the Sun has Tom Felton in from Harry Potter. The Fallen, Matthew Baton from Harbour Histories. The Warzone Punisher, not a great film. And I Am Sam, who starred Doug Hutchison from The Green Mile. And we have All Good Children, A Shine of Rainbows. Not well-known films, but they have Jack Gleason, who plays Joffrey from Game of Thrones in. Then we have a few of my sister's DVDs with actors she likes in, including Sam Rockwell, Peter Stormare, John Cazali, William Fickner and Mark Strong. Then we have a few comedies which I really enjoyed, including Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Mr Bean, Meet the Parents, Ruthless People. The only DVDs in this lineup which I didn't enjoy so much were Super Bad and Ted. I also love fanboys as well, purely for Dan Fogler. Now we move on to the Steve McQueen films. This is my sister shelf of DVDs. She's the one who is a big fan of Steve McQueen. I haven't myself watched a lot of these films. Obviously, there's some films in this lineup which are great classics like The Great Escape, um, Bullet, The Thomas Crown Affair and The Taron Inferno. There's obviously a lot more great films in this lineup, but like I said, I haven't actually seen many of these films myself. Then we move on to another favourite actor of my sister's, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who obviously acts in some very well-known films, such as The Terminator and The Predator. Really enjoyed Terminator number one especially. Um, a lot of these films, again, I haven't seen myself, but the ones I have seen, I really enjoy them. Some are not as well known. Now we move on to one of my favourite shelves, my animation shelf, which includes my Disney collection. I have all the numbered Disneys, apart from number 38, which is Fantasia 2000, which at the moment I can't find the DVD anywhere with the yellow circled number on but I'm going to keep looking. Now I'm not a fan of the Disney sequels but some of the ones I do like I have at the end here. I also have some of the Disney film remakes as well. Now we move on to Disney's Pixar films. I love these films. I have all of them apart from 
Finding Dory, which I still need to buy. Now we have my collection of DreamWorks films. I did stop collecting these because a lot of the later films they released I wasn't enjoying so much. Some of my favourite films are Shrek, Shark Tale, Over the Hedge, Monsters vs Aliens. Here we have a few more animation films I like, including Despicable Me and Ice Age. And placed on the shelf here we have my Cartoon Network DVD, Hey Arnold, episodes Alvin and Chipmunks including the films. And then on the other side we have my Looney Tune collection including Space Jam, the film and then Drake and Josh at the bottom. Now we move on to the different TV series I have, starting with Family Guy, I've got seasons 1 to 14, and I also have the complete series of Columbo on DVD. I have South Park seasons 1 to 18, I really like the packaging of these DVDs. I have The Simpsons Seasons 2 to 6. This is obviously not the complete collection of The Simpsons. I also have The Simpsons Movie, South Park's Movie, a couple more Family Guy episodes, and then Prison Break, Seasons 1 to 4. On the second shelf, we have my favourite season of all time, Game of Thrones. I have Seasons 1 to 6. And then we have Boardwalk Empire Seasons 1-5, to another one of my favourite series. It stars Steve Buscemi as lead. I definitely recommend people watching this. Then we have The Walking Dead Seasons 1-5. to I know there's a season out at the minute I still need to buy. Then we have The Bates Motel and The Secret of Crickley Hall, which was a very good television series based on the novel by James Herbert. And then The Dragon's Den, which was a TV show on BBC. And then I have a Big Brother DVD, in my opinion, The Best Big Brother, Season 2, which Brian Downing won. I have Harry Hill 1 to 3 on DVD. Renford Rejects, which was a kids' TV show on Nickelodeon. All the Harbour History DVDs. Yonderland, which I definitely recommend. It's very funny. And then a very funny film, Bill, which was written by the cast of Harbour Histories and Yonderland. Then we have The Wrong Man's, Vicious and Father Ted. Moving on to the second shelf, we have The Big Bang Theory, seasons 1 to 7. I do feel that their later seasons aren't as funny as the first seasons. I haven't got them yet. Then we have The Inbetweeners, which I, which I just find hysterical. Then we have Faulty Towers, another hilarious TV series. And then some more TV comedies, including Catherine Tate and Little Britta. And then I have the complete collection of Downton Abbey. Then I have a football DVD randomly thrown in there and some um, TV documentaries, including an Aliens documentary series um, and documentaries about sharks and the sea and the ocean and animals. Moving on to the third shelf, I have a small collection of Alfred Hitchcock DVDs, including Birds and Psycho. And then we have a small collection of Stephen King films. My favourite one isn't actually in this lineup. I have it on another shelf, which I will show you later. Then we have two films I really enjoyed, Robin Hood and The King's Speech. Then we have a collection of musicals, including Mamma Mia, Grease, Jersey Boys. Then we have a few more classic DVDs, including Silence of the Lambs. And then we just have some DVDs which I liked, but they don't really fit anywhere in a Pacific selection. To be honest, a few of those DVDs I didn't really like very much. A lot of them was given to me as gifts. I am not a fan of horror films and I told my mum to get me 28 days and she brought me back 28 days later, which is very different. And now we move on to Harry Potter, I am a Slytherin, and we also have Fantastic Beasts. 
Moving on, this is what I call my nerdy shout for some of my favourite films, Lord of Rings, Hobbit, the Marvel films. I've got Star Wars there as well. I'm not actually a Star Wars fan, but um, I do have them on DVD. And I have Back to the Future and Batman at the end. Now we move on to my Leonardo DiCaprio movies. I have all of his films. He's such an incredible actor and he stars in some very good films. To name a few, we have Titanic, Romeo and Juliet, The Great Gatsby, Catch Me If You Can, The Wolf of Wall Street, Shutter's Island, Inception, and one of my favourite movies of all time, Django Unchained. Now for the gorgeous Tom Hiddleston movies. Um, he's most famous before, but I have that next to my Marvel collection. Here's a few more of his DVDs. He doesn't act in a lot, but my most favourite thing he acts in is The Night Manager, which I just think is excellent. The cast is amazing, and um, yeah, I definitely recommend people watching this. It's very good. Now for my collection of Tom Hanks DVDs. Tom is a very talented actor. I haven't got all of his films, but I've got some of my favourites, including Forrest Gump and Cast Away. But my ultimate favourite of his is The Green Mile. It's one of my favourite movies of all time. I just think all the cast in this act so well, and it's such a great story. Now we go on to Christoph Waltz movies, another one of my favourite actors. Again, he doesn't star in a lot. I've got most of his films, his English films anyway. My favourite movie of his is Django Unchained, but I have that next to the Leonardo DiCaprio films. Now I have a small collection of David Dorfman films. He doesn't act in a lot either. He's not a very well-known actor, but I really got into him after watching the film Drillbit Taylor. Now we have another very talented actor, Al Pacino. I got into him after watching the movie Dog Day Afternoon, another one of my favourite films. I have got quite a lot of his films, but I haven't got all of them yet. His most well-known films, of course, are Godfather and Scarface. I also have most of David Spade films. He acts in quite a few light-hearted films. I do like a lot of the films he acts in, such as Tommy Boy and Black Sheep. I also have quite a few Seth Green films. The list starts with Radio Days and then it moves on to the bottom shelf. Some of my favourite movies of his is Austin Powers, Can't Hardly Wait, Without a Paddle. But I think my favourite movie of his is Rat Race. I think that's a very good film. I also have a small collection of Jack Black films, just some of the ones that I like of his, such as Shallow How, School of Rock, King Kong, Tropic Thunder. Now, I'm not really a fan of chick flicks, but I've got a few that I like at the end here, including Parent Trap and Mean Girls. Now we move on to my Beatles shelf, starting with their films, which I love. Um, we have the films they did when they were in the Beatles. And then we have the films they were in as individuals. John Lennon, How I Won the War, Ringo and Caveman, Paul and Give My Regards to Broad Street. And Ringo has a small part in Candy. Then we have my Beatles documentaries, starting with the ones that they had a part in themselves or their friends and family, including Imagine, George Harrison living in a, the material world and the Beatles love. Then we have all the other Beatles documentaries. Some of these are very similar, but my favourite are the first five, which contain a lot of Beatles footage and interviews. As you can see, I do have quite a few Beatles documentaries. Then on this bottom shelf, we have the Beatles cartoon show. I've got all the uh, series. I really enjoy watching these. They're very funny. I def definitely recommend people watching them if um, you're a Beatles fan. And then we've got three films based on the Beatles and The Hours and Times is actually the film that got me into the Beatles. And that completes my DVD collection. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe to see more from me. Bye!